Assalamualaikum students. How are you? Students, it's the time of our mathematics class. Our today's topic is about time. Today we are going to learn about time. Students, look at this. What is it in my hand? Yes, this is a wall clock. You can see the numbers on this wall clock. This clock has 12 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Whole clock is divided into 12 numbers and 60 parts. These small lines show the parts. This clock has divided into 60 equal parts. You can see that here are some hands in this clock observe on this hand this is a big hand big hand tell us the minutes and this is the small hand small hand tell us small hand tell us about the hours and this is one more hand the slimmer hand this hand tell us about the seconds students we learn that big hand shows the minutes okay and small one small hand tell us about hours and the third slimmer hand tell us about Seconds tell us about the seconds. Now, here I have one another clock in my hand for you. I am pasting it on the board and we will learn how can we see the time. The smaller hand. We learned that the smaller hand shows the hours and the bigger hand shows the minutes and bigger hands move according to, to the table of 5. I told you that this clock is divided into 60 equal parts. We will see that every part has 5 lines. In it we can count it them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here we will write 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here we will write 10. 2 means 10 minutes. 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Count with me. 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. 4 is equal to 20 minutes. 21, 22, 23, 24 and 25. 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. 31, 32, 33, 34 and 35. 7 show us 35 minutes with the bigger hand. 36, 37, 38, 39 and 40. We will move forward. 41, 42, 43, 44 and 45. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54 and 55. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. When a bigger hand complete the whole round from 5 to 60, it becomes an odd. Okay students, I have another clock for you in my hand. Just observe this clock and tell me where is the bigger hand. Yes, the bigger hand is on the number of 11. If you want to count these small lines, it will take a lot of time. So, it's an easy way to multiply the Number 11 with 5. 11 5s are 55. 11 5s are 55. 
we have here 55 minutes okay students here I have some more clock in my hand on this paper four clock has been shown and time is already given your task is just to draw hands on these clocks okay we will use two hands smaller hand and bigger hand smaller hand for hours and bigger hand for minutes here the time is 3 15 3 tell us about hours we will draw a smaller hand on the number of 3 and how many minutes 15 15 minutes kis number par hai 3 par so we will also draw a bigger hand on the number of 3 the time is 3.15 this time is 7.25 7 tell us about hours and 25 tell us about minutes small hand yes on the number of 7 small hand is on the number of 7 and 25 where we will draw the bigger hand to show the minutes 25 5 10 15 20 25 we will draw a bigger hand towards the number of 5 now this clock tell us the time 7 25 in third clock we have time 9 30 9 smaller hand and 30 5 10 15 20 25 30 I am going to draw a big hand for minutes 9 30 the last clock is here and we have time 11 40 11 small hand for hours 11 40 we will read the table of 5 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 and 40 8 tell us the number of 40 40 minutes mean 11 40 okay students this was the easy way to draw the hands of hours and minutes now i have one more activity for you here you can see that hands have already drawn now our work is to mention the time according to the hands you can see on this clock the smaller hand is at the number of 10 we will write 10 like this after the column we will write about the minutes the bigger hand is at the number of 3 5 10 15 it's mean 10 15 10 15 now we are observing the second clock the smaller hand is at the number of 2 we are writing here 2 2 and now we will see the bigger hand bigger hand is at the number of 5 we are going to read the table of 5 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 5 threes are 15 5 fours are 20 and 5 fives are 25 it's mean there are 25 minutes 10 15 to 25 okay the third clock is telling us another time let's see the small hand is at the number of 4 and the big hand is at the number of 7 
read the table of 5 to the number of 7. 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10, 5 3s are 15, 5 4s are 20, 5 5s are 25, 5 6s are 30 and 5 7s are 35. We will write here 35. 4 35. Okay, the last clock tell us the time. 9 and 1. 9. ये जो वन नंबर पर बिगर हैंड है, इसको हम कैसे पढ़ेंगे? Five ones are five, only five. It's mean nine five. नौ बजकर पांच मिनट हो चुके। Students, our today's lecture is about time. We learnt about the bigger hand and smaller hand. Bigger hand tell us about minutes, and smaller hand tell us about hours. And the slimmer hand tell us about the seconds. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. And one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Students, ek ghante mein kitne minutes hote hain? 60 minutes hote hain. Or एक मिनट में कितने सेकंड्स होते हैं? 60 सेकंड्स होते हैं। जब हमारा बिगर हैंड, जब हमारा बिगर हैंड पूरे क्लॉक का एक चक्कर 12 तक लगा लेता है, तो एक घंटा हो जाता है, ठीक है? Students, I hope you learnt about the time today and keep your practice to see the time. Uh, now it's your task to note down the time of your lunch and dinner and your sleeping time. Allah Hafiz.